Hey guys, it's Woody here over at USA Made Blade and just here late night doing a quick overview of the ZT0808. As many of you know, this knife has been out pretty much since the beginning of the year, so we apologize for uh, taking so long to get around to this overview. Uh, truth is, is that I put one of these in my pocket a while back, but didn't use it very much. Um, not really sure why, to be honest. And here within the past week or so, started really using this knife again and have used the snot out of it and just been blown away. So I figured it was a good time for an overview on it. A uh, quick couple specs on it. Knife is about seven and a half inches overall length, uh, about a three and a quarter inch cutting edge. It weighs in on our scale coming in at 4.4 ounces. I've seen it set at other, other weights. Uh, the knife actually, for its size, fits pretty nicely in the watch pocket um, of, of your blue jeans. But uh, we'll, we'll get to more of that in a minute. For its size, it's a, a very friendly knife. It's, it's not intimidating. It's, it's just a good looking knife overall. Uh, some other specs on the knife. It is full titanium handles. Uh, so it's titanium scales on both sides with the titanium frame lock. It does have the lock bar insert in it. It is the uh, cage bearing KBT system. So this knife flips open like a champ. I'm trying to do this backwards and upside down so it's a little tough to do. But um, one of the things about this knife that I can tell you is that it's not a killer detent. Um, it's a strong detent. It doesn't come open in your pocket or anything like that. But it's, it's not one that's going to tear your finger up. I think some of it's the angle on the flipper, but uh, it, it flips open fantastic. Um, the knife is S35 VN steel, which I think ZT just kicks butt at. Every S35 knife we get from them just comes out of the box razor sharp. Uh, to kind of show that with this one, I stick my arm in here. As you can see, I've got plenty of spots that I've made bald before, but let's go with this one if I can get it at the right angle without cutting my wrist. And just hit that and you can see that just shaved a ton of hair cleared that spot of my wrist off don't worry guys this one's mine we're not gonna ship you a knife with a bunch of hair on it but uh fantastic knife wicked sharp so we're gonna move this out of the way and talk about the one point that we have heard people talking about with this knife which is the pocket clip move this this way Got to do the shameless plug using my business card to kind of give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about here. But as you can tell, I mean, we're almost half an inch of the knife sticking out of the pocket. And uh, flip it over here so you can kind of see it from the other side. But with the pocket clip, it's a tight pocket clip. So I'm, this is just a thin business card and I'm pulling on it pretty good. And the knife is not, not budging. I'm just putting that back up there because... Despite the fact that nobody at ZT is ever going to admit this to me, I still think one of the reasons that they did the clip the way that they did and have so much of the knife showing is because of this just absolutely badass, take this out now, backspacer. And this is one of our anodized, this is our purple with copper anodized backspacer. But this backspacer is full titanium polished and just stunning and it doesn't matter we'll put the uh put the original back in here too so you can see it sorry dropping stuff here but it sticks out just a little bit over the end not sure how well this is picking this up but uh absolutely stunning color sorry for the fingerprint on the back spacer on this one so this knife kind of begs to be anodized and while we're plugging our anodized knives Here's the blue that we offer. And this one has a bronze backspacer. And just stunning backspacer. And you get so much of it, just, just enough sticking out of the pocket that it, it, it really is catchy. And this is a knife that I don't mind carrying that I want people to see that I'm carrying, that I've got in my pocket. I like for people to ask me about it and see it. Um, like I said, it's not intimidating. It's just a a beautiful knife to, to carry just about anywhere, but it's still, like ZT does, perfect for uh, everyday carry and and hard use. 
So don't don't let the fact that it's an everyday carry knife scare you off from it. Uh, it's, it's definitely thick enough and robust enough that, that you're going to feel comfortable using it anywhere you want to use it or for any reason. Um, finish off this video, we like to do uh, some comparison shots, some comparison video, and start off by showing you the knife compared to a more readily available scene and own knife, which is the fantastic Benchmade Griptilian full size. As you can see, you get about an extra half an inch blade uh, or length on the uh, Griptilian. It's a little fatter, a little, little different style knife, but uh, just giving you some ideas here. For those of you that don't have a knife shop near you, that's why we do this. Uh, this is the Spyderco Paramilitary 2, and kind of like the Griptilian, it's a little longer, a little more, yeah, a little, little bigger profile, a little thicker, but uh, just giving you some ideas. Uh, the not as well known, but I wanted to throw this in here anyway, is the Spyderco, or I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> Southern Grind Spider Monkey. And this is relatively new to the market, but very similar in size, profile, stance, everything else. Uh, it's definitely a little lighter on the Spider Monkey because it's the carbon fiber. And uh, the, the Spider Monkey is a, a liner lock, not a frame lock. And then to some of the more recent ZTs that have come out, the ZT450. Uh, this knife is much, the 450 is much lighter. I think it comes in at about two and a half ounces. Don't quote me on that. But... Uh, Fantastic knife and just kind of give you an idea for size there. Now we're going to finish this off with what I like to call the bully little brother to the 808, which is the ZT900. And uh, the ZT900 comically weighs the exact same amount or close to it. I think they're within a 0.1 ounce or so of each other as the 808. Uh, it's definitely a more stout knife with a... a Smaller handle, but very robust knife. But uh, anyway, that's it. This is the ZT808. All the knives you've seen, including this one, are all available at usamadeblade.com. We appreciate you watching and hope you have a good night.